So for today's vlog, we will try all the snacks that's inside my Tokyo Treat May box. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Ainz. So what we're going to do today is we will do some taste testing from my Tokyo Treat May box. It's my first Tokyo treat and I can't wait to share it with you the tastes of the snack and a little bit of review of all the snacks that they sent on their mailbox. So bear with me because I'm not a food vlogger. So whatever comes up from my mouth, that's it. And these are the things from my Tokyo treat may box and we will try to have a taste of each snacks that we have from this box there were 17 snacks like 16 snacks and one drink from my tokyo treat may box and we will try to have a taste of each except for this one because I've already tried this during my March unboxing where our friends from Japan sent us some Japanese goodies. So again, these are the things that is on my box. These are the lists of what's in the May box of Tokyo Treat and we will try each of these maybe I will like it or I will not like it <laughs> so let's start mm, let's start from this one it is called the mini strawberry milk choco balls I'll try and get one you just um, open it like this I had the pink as you can see I had a small pink there are two colors there is light pink and fuchsia pink mm. it tastes strawberry and very sweet And then it has a hard shell and it tastes strawberry and very sweet. <laughs> um, not my type of a candy, but I like the taste that it's strawberry. So this one is actually a birthday treat with cute and colorful mini strawberry milk choco balls. I didn't. I didn't taste the chocolate though, but it's sweet. And then I'm actually reading this so that we will be guided of what I was actually eating. So the next one is let's try the what is this? Texas corn potato. No, let's try this one. Um, this is cabbage taro, and like I told you earlier. I already tried this because two of my friends who's based in Japan now sent us snacks from Japan. Let's, let's try. We'll not eat everything, we'll just try one and see how it tastes. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, you see. Mmm, tastes good. Mm, doesn't taste like cabbage though but it's it has this sour um, aftertaste but it really tastes good <laughs> and then we'll have the Texas corn pottage where is the corn pottage yeah. this, one. this is called the Texas corn pottage snack it is a creamy Japanese corn pottage which is which is also crunchy 
and it says that this is really good snack if it's chilly or spring days since Philippines do not have spring so we will eat it during summer just open a little and see what's inside so this is what's inside it looks like the cabbage one mmm I like this it's like the corn um, snacks that we have here in the Philippines it's really good I like it can I eat some <laughs> can I eat more mm. that's good I like it so it's a check let's try another one let's try which one Aji cheese Aji cheese this is Aji cheese it's cheesy and it's good for birthday treat it's also crispy cheesy treats and it's savory snack mm. let's try it Ooh. it's not circle or it's not not the same as Texas corn chips this is sort of like uh, a thin chip let's try it mm, it's not cheesy but it tastes good I like it mm. It's very little salty and a little sour, but I really like it. <laughs> ah. Good if you are just watching TV or just waiting for someone and eating this. I like it. Even though it's not cheesy, which I'm quite disappointed, but it's good. <laughs> next one is Sparrow Eggs. Sparrow, sparrow egg. Sorry, sorry. This is sorry. This is called sparrow egg crackers. It's a mini cracker um, from cute and bite-sized shape. Inside a crunchy, sweet and spicy sauce coated with cracker is a peanut. And spicy sauce coated with cracker is a peanut. It's Japanese. So yeah, it's this is this has a different packaging from the. From this paper so it makes me think if I have this one or if somebody ate it from here so let's try so it's egg shape and it's reddish and it's ticky and it's quasi Mmm. The peanut is a little bit spicy. It has an aftertaste, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> if you are here in the Philippines, it's like the the bobot or the the peanut coated chocolate that you can buy for one peso. That's how it tastes. <laughs> Another one is the Umai Rings Cheese Flavor. This is, yeah. We'll try this Umai Rings Cheese Flavor. This is a cheesy snack again. I hope it's cheesy. Um, it's crunchy and cheesy corn snack from makers of Umai Bo. Well, let's try if it's cheesy. If it's not, then I'll be disappointed again. Uh -huh. Ooh, the smell is delicious. This is how it looks like. It's like a ring. Mm, it's soft. It's cheesy, but the cheese, I think this is a different kind of cheese because it's a different cheese that you can have from cheese rings here in the Philippines, but this is really good. Good thing this is cheesy. It's not like the other one that it's not cheesy at all. 